space is continually offering up new mysteries for scientists and astronomers to unpack and attempt to solve. And although it often seems as though many of these mysteries are unsolvable, every day we get closer to understanding more and more about the infinite vastness that stretches out beyond our own planet Earth. Whether it is strange phenomena in our own galaxy or mystifying occurrences hundreds upon hundreds of light years away, scientists have set out to uncover as much as they possibly can about the cosmic world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at interesting discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of the final frontier. NASA's head warned that China may try to claim the moon. Bill Nelson, NASA's administrator, has announced his fears regarding plans China may have for the future of space. Nelson believes that China hopes to eventually claim the moon for themselves as their property and may attempt to limit or entirely ban other countries from landing on its surface and examining it further. Nelson stated, We must be very concerned that China is landing on the moon and saying, it's ours now and you stay out. The Chinese government refuted Nelson's worries and fears as lies and formed a dispute between NASA and officials of the Chinese government. Both NASA and China at present are planning their own respective moon missions, with China openly having a fascination with the moon. China was the first nation on Earth to land on the dark side of the moon back in 2019, and in the same year, they proclaimed their co-mission with Russia to traverse the moon's southern pole by 2026. Various Chinese officials have furthermore stated their desires for a lunar research center to be built on the moon by 2027, although these claims state it would be an international crewed research center and notably not a Chinese base of operations, but something that assumingly all nations would be able to participate in and use. Having a lunar station and laying claim over the moon are vastly different things. Many scholars and astronomers disagree with Nelson's concerns as it is highly unlikely that neither China nor any other nation will attempt to lay claim on the moon. Unsurprisingly, an act would be illegal as per international space law agreements. This would open China up to not only international criticism but potentially severe socio-economic consequences as per the 1967 Outer Space Treaty signed by 134 countries, including the US and China. Outer space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies, is not subject to national appropriation by claim of sovereignty, by means of use or occupation, or by any other means. The treaty means that, legally, China or any other of the signed countries cannot lay claim on the moon and declare it a national territory. For China to do this, they would have to be willing to undergo international scorn, ostracization and economic condemnation, all severe punishments for a nation to undergo. Additionally, the cost would be immense and China would require extremely advanced technology to accomplish the goal of seizing the moon. All this, of course, with no clear or certain ambition as to why they would even want control over the moon. All nations are permitted rights to explore the moon, and China is not planning on travelling to the southern pole alone. Over 20 countries other than China plan to place humans on the moon in the near future, most of which aim for 2025 as the milestone. There are a plethora of plans in motion from the US as well as other nations to build lunar international space stations, so China is not the only one with such plans. Granted, it being illegal does not mean China could not plot a takeover scheme in the future. It is possible they could try seizing eventual control of the moon by taking small actions that alone do not seem harmful but build up to increase a country's control over an area. This strategy is often used in governmental regime takeovers. The concern is perhaps valid to some degree. Given we have seen China utilize this exact strategy, when dealing with the South and East Chinese seas, as well as in their past. Fortunately, even if they attempted to take over the moon, the notice could be taken and boundaries set and addressed which would stop this from happening. Despite this, Nelson stands his ground on the validity of his concerns, and there are those who agree with him and believe there is a reason to worry. The universe is expanding faster than we thought. Whilst we may not be able to feel, see or really understand it, the universe is constantly expanding. This, however, is not in the normal sense of the word. We are located within our galaxy, the Milky Way, 
However, the galaxies outside of ours are moving away from us, and the galaxies that are the farthest away are moving away from us faster. If you were to be in a different galaxy, for example, this would be the same, or galaxies outside of that galaxy would be moving away from it, even our own. They are not moving in the conventional sense of the word because they're moving with space rather than passing through. Whilst difficult to understand, the universe itself has no center and everything within it is actually moving away from everything else. A famous analogy coined to explain this expansion is thinking of the universe as a loaf of raisin bread dough. As it is cooked, it rises and expands, and as a result, the raisins move away from one another, but they are still inside the bread. At this point, you might be asking, why isn't Earth moving away from everything else then? This is because on a local scale, such as around us, gravity keeps everything together and holds it in place. This was first discovered in 1925 by Edwin Hubble, the man the famous Hubble telescope is named after, and he proved that there was a direct relationship between the speeds of distant galaxies and their distances from Earth. This is now known as Hubble's Law. The number, meaning the rate of cosmic expansion in relation to speeds of galaxies and their distance from Earth, is known as the Hubble constant. In the last couple of years, even up to this year, new evidence is suggesting that the universe is expanding much faster than initially first thought. The universe is outpacing all our expectations in its expansion. And that is very puzzling, says lead study author Adam Rees, an astronomer at Johns Hopkins University who co-won the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics for helping discover dark energy. This new evidence suggests that measurements of the Hubble constant mentioned earlier using cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the early universe and the Big Bang is actually conflicting with estimates of younger stars and even the Milky Way. This discrepancy is still apparent even after taking into account dark energy and other cosmic forces that are thought to be speeding up the universe's expansion. This has and is still disputed by other scientists and cosmologists as incorrect or incomplete data. However, fresh research from the Hubble as new as 2019 suggests this gap is actually larger than ever. It is estimated that the universe as we know it is expanding up to 9% faster than we originally thought when examining the trajectory of the universe's expansion from the Big Bang. What does this mean? Well, the discrepancy between the rate we believe the universe is expanding now and what we believed it should be from the trajectory created from the Big Bang means that scientists could be missing an essential factor in the cosmological model when measuring that would account for this discrepancy. For now, at least, what's missing is a mystery. But with all the fascinating discoveries we've talked about today, it would be no surprise if, in a couple of years from now, we were discussing a new strongest material or a new type of formation on a distant planet or even a new theory of the universe. We just don't know. One thing is for sure, though, as we try and figure out this wacky, wonderful universe, is that it certainly won't be boring. One of the fastest spinning stars is spitting out gamma rays. Phenomenal on many levels, a star which spins at a mind-shattering 707 times per second also spits out strong gamma rays it has been found. The neutron star, which is located at least 4,400 light-years away from our own planet, is a celestial entity known as a pulsar. Pulsars are very dense, very fast-spinning neutron stars formed as a giant star collapses. They have many weird and wonderful features, all powerful by nature, such as a strong magnetic field, and they shoot out beams of radiation from their two poles. Because of these, when combined, it leads to an intermittent flashing effect, meaning pulsars can only be seen from Earth at certain times. Hence, the distance 4,400 light-years is an approximation because we do not actually know for certain how far this particular neutron star is from us. Back to our neutron star. It was first observed in 2017 by the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, yet despite the name it was never thought to emit gamma rays in bursts. This said, as time went by and astronomers gathered annual and consistent data on it, they detected pulsing radio signals from the star such as the fact that it is the second fastest spinning neutron star ever discovered, bested only by a record of 716 spins per second 
recorded in 2006. As mentioned before, with the star being a pulsar, it has been really difficult for scientists to accurately gather data on it. Its estimated distance and location are based on data relating to its whereabouts, according to radio measurements. However, due to extreme heat differences around the pulsar itself, an unclear graphic means that optimal measurements make it seem 13,200 light years away. Furthermore, scientists are not yet sure why gamma rays were not detected back in 2017. Guesses have been that the star's orbit could have changed between now and then, making them more sensitive to our technologies. However, there is no evidence that this is the case. Given the already subtle nature of data able to be gathered from this pulsar, it seems we may have to wait another few years to find out the whole story, or at least a little bit more as to why it is so mysterious. Proxima b Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to us, second only to the Sun. So how exciting is it when in 2016 it was discovered to be the host star to an exoplanet, Proxima b? This predictably makes it, alongside its counterpart Proxima c, the closest exoplanets to our solar system that we know of. We do not know masses about this exoplanet. We cannot place an accurate guess as to the age, nor do we know definitively whether it has moons, though we can make guesses. Researchers don't seem to think Proxima b has moons due to the unstable orbit, which is relatively short, as Proxima b is 20 times closer to its star than the Earth is to the Sun. We have a lot of question marks about this planet, despite it being so close to home. Could it be a Mercury-like planet with a big core, or could the planet have plenty of water? Overall, it is safe to say our concrete knowledge is somewhat limited to the distance and orbit. If the planet was formed at the same distance from the star that it is now, then the planet will have much less water than Earth and a quicker developmental pace. Again, several different approaches and options are being investigated. Sometimes it is truly those closest to home that we know the least about. As we develop higher tech equipment and refine what we are looking for, slowly and steadily, we may be able to unravel the puzzle. We have so much out there just waiting for us to explore. A universe filled with exoplanets, some of which are bound to be similar to Earth, and some of which surely contain life. As we develop higher technologies, more and more exoplanets will be discovered, detected, and confirmed. It won't be long until we are living in the futuristic space age of science fiction. LIGO sees its biggest black hole crash yet. Approximately 7 billion years ago, two large black holes collided to form a new massive black hole. To date, this collision still stands as the largest to have ever been detected. And the black hole that it formed is still the largest that has ever been found. When it was first discovered, scientists were baffled as to how it could even exist at all. The ripples from that massive collision were picked up on the two laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory detectors in the United States and another one in Italy on May 21, 2019. These waves had been hurtling through space for billions of years. The waves were the result of the merger between two or more black holes, one of which was 85 times the mass of the Sun and the other one which is roughly 66 times the mass of the Sun. After the two collided, they had created a new supermassive black hole that was 142 times the mass of the Sun. The rest of the nine times worth of Sun's matter was converted into energy after the collision, which shook the universe enough for LIGO and Virgo to detect and interpret the ripples it gave off, which allowed scientists to learn and understand how black holes as big could even exist. Nelson Christensen, a member of the Virgo collaboration, said in a statement, This signal doesn't look much like a chirp, which is what we typically detect. It is more like something that goes bang. That bang shook our region of space for approximately a tenth of a second, after travelling for a longer period of time than any gravitational wave that has previously been detected. After analysing the shape of the wave, scientists were able to determine the type of black holes involved and their exact size. Until this discovery was made, black holes were thought to have fallen into two different categories. 
stellar mass black holes and supermassive black holes. Stellar mass black holes are known to form from collapsing stars and typically don't get much larger than a few dozen times the mass of the Sun. Stellar mass black holes are the black holes that LIGO and Virgo have previously detected merging. Supermassive black holes are on the other end of the spectrum. These consist of masses on a much larger scale, which can be millions or billions of times that of the Sun, with a gravitational force which can grow whole galaxies around them. The Milky Way has one, as well as most other similar galaxies, although scientists aren't exactly sure about where they came from or how they formed. No merger of such a monstrous black hole has ever been detected. Gravitational wave astronomy is still a relatively new science, so it's impossible to be certain. As LIGO, Virgo and future detectors gather more data from different events in space, further research should be able to paint a clearer picture. And it's hoped that supermassive black holes should become easier to explain in the not-too-distant future. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.